Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Power Coach, Madeline Alexander, and I welcome you this morning to the Breakthrough Morning Show. You are on Power Coach Radio, where we break through barriers and achieve power results fast. So excited to have you with me this morning. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Are you excited about the holidays? I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a happy holiday season. I hope you're getting ready for a great holiday time with your family. We are pressing forward. I still want you to give me great effort for the next week. We're going to keep pressing forward and closing out 2012 strong before we celebrate and enjoy those great times of the holidays with our family and friends. I'm so glad to have you as a member of the Breakthrough family joining me every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on the Breakthrough Morning Show. We get together and we are mentally conditioning, spiritually conditioning, elevating our mindset to accomplish all that God has for us, all that he has planned for us in our lives. He has a great plan for you, and the best life is the blessed life. We're getting ready to fulfill all that God has in store for you. We mentally condition, we prepare, we gear ourselves up to give our best effort and accomplish everything that's ahead for you and for me in your life right now. Well, I want you to know you can always reach out and connect with me. I love to hear from you. Please do so. You can reach me at the website at MadelineAlexander.com. Just go to the website and you can send me a quick email. You can also email me at info at MadelineAlexander.com. You can connect on Twitter. Just reach out at the Power Coach, at the Power Coach. Connect to me and we can dialogue on Twitter. You can also connect on Facebook. I encourage you to do so as well. Go to facebook.com slash the power coach and you can connect with me there. And I will add you to the awesome group Breakthrough with the Power Coach, Malin Alexander, and you can join in with the rest of the fantastic Breakthrough family and dialogue with us. Any means that you want to use to connect with me, I hope that you do so. And let's keep our breakthrough moving forward. Let's keep elevating and going to the next level. Well, I'm super excited as we close out this week. We've got a lot that's going on today I want to share with you, and I'm excited to have you here. First of all, let's just make sure that we pray for our, our uh, wonderful people that are in the nation of Japan. We want to pray for Japan. They were hit very early this morning with a very strong earthquake, and so we just want to keep uh, Japan in our prayer and as the events unfold, everything kind of shakes out in terms of uh, what's happening over there as a result of the earthquake. We'll have a, a better idea as the news reports come forward. But just keep uh, them in your prayers. Just just say a prayer. Just lift them up. And, and people all over the world are facing different situations and circumstances that are happening every single solitary day. We still have people right here in the United States of America that are still recovering from the uh, hurricane, from Hurricane Sandy, Tropical Storm Sandy that hit on the East Coast. There's still a tremendous recovery effort that's happening there. We've got all kinds of situations that are happening across the nation. So please be mindful of people all over the country and in your own city and uh, just be aware of the people who may have needs that are greater than our own. Let's keep uh, individuals other than our families and our friends, let's keep them in prayer, let's keep them lifted up, let's keep them encouraged, and in any way that you can do so, be a blessing. You can reach out through the Red Cross. There's all kinds of different mechanisms you can reach out through. World Vision, that's another fantastic organization that does great work all across the world, and you can reach out and be a blessing. So let's be mindful of that as we go forward and prepare and plan for our own holiday season and the great things that are happening here in the United United States of America. Well, I'm so glad to have you with me. This is the Power Coach Madeline Alexander, and you are on the Breakthrough Morning Show on Power Coach Radio, where we break through barriers and achieve power results fast. We are counting down just days away to the ship date of Power Mindset to Choose to Be a Champion. It is here. I have the book in my hands, and I'm so excited. It is fantastic. You are going to be blessed just so far 
and beyond your wildest imagination is fantastic. It's an awesome book. I'm really pleased with how everything has come together. This book has the hand of the Lord upon it. I am humbled and honored to be the vessel chosen to deliver this word to you. That's all about your mission. It's all about your purpose. It's all about your calling in God. And so I want you to not hesitate. I don't want you to procrastinate. I want you to make sure that you have made that investment in yourself. Make the investment to get your book and to get on track with us. We are building that power mindset for success. We're laying the foundation, and we're going to keep it going right from there. We're going to take it to the next level. We're going to build the champion mindset. We're going to build the champion mindset. Power mindset, too. Choose to be a champion. Let me tell you, there's a couple options for you. If you have already pre-ordered your book, you don't have any additional action, we will ship to you first. We are preparing for you right now. I'm so excited to sign and pray over your book and get it to you. So if you have already pre-ordered, you are good to go. Just relax. It will be coming to your doorstep very, very shortly. If you have not yet uh, made your investment and pre-ordered your book, let me tell you what to do. You're going to be in um, order status right now. There are two options that you have. Let me tell you this quickly. If you have not read the first book, the one that we're going through right now in our online reading party, uh, How to Break Through Barriers and Achieve Power Results, Create Your Power Mindset for Success in 30 Days or Less, what I want you to do is I want you to invest in the bundle. Invest in the bundle. Just go to the website at MadelineAlexander.com, click on Bookstore, and get the bundle because you're going to get both books. You're going to get uh, Create Your Power Mindset for Success, and you're going to get Power Mindset 2, Choose to Be a Champion, in a bundle, and you're going to save if you do it that way, if you invest in the bundle. And you also get a free copy. It's included. It's a bonus of my title single, the the, uh, title track from the album Release the Power that's coming out in just a few months. The title track is on CD, and I'm going to include that. It's actually in the book, Power Mindset 2, Choose to Be a Champion. So you'll get that as well. You're going to get both books and the title track to the Release the Power album, you'll get all of that in that bundle. So if you haven't read the first book, that's the best, best way to go. If you've already got your book and you're on a mission, you're on the move with us and you're doing our online reading party uh, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with me, then order the single book. You want to invest in in Power Mindset 2, Choose to Be a Champion. You can get that individual book by itself. You can order that. Pick up one for yourself and get one for a friend. Think about someone who you want to inspire to go to the next level in their mission. Uh, You want to help them to rise up to the next level and accomplish their purpose in God. I can think of everybody that that needs this word. And so think about them as we're in the holiday season. You pick up one for yourself and invest. Be a blessing to someone else and get a book that you can inspire someone. Give them the gift of breakthrough this holiday season. So I encourage you to do that. Both of those options are right there in the bookstore at MadelineAlexander.com. Run out there and I will sign every single solitary book. I will pray over it. I will bless it and get those out to you right away. Amen. Well, we are continuing on in our online reading party right now. We're in the midst of reading the awesome second edition of How to Break Through Barriers and Achieve Power Results, Create Your Power Mindset for Success in 30 Days or Less. That's the black cover book. And so if you've already gotten your book, fantastic. If not, um, uh, I want to encourage you to take that action right away. Take that action right away. What are you waiting for? Jump on board so you can work through these lessons on your own. I want to make sure you're not listening passively, but you are actively applying everything that we're doing so that you can produce change and growth and results in your own life. So make sure you are taking action yourself personally. We are on page 54 today. We're on page 54. We are on day 6 p.m. If you're with me every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we are doing one lesson each day. The book is set up where you will actually do two lessons a day. You'll do one in the morning and one at night before you go to bed every single solitary day for 30 days, and it's going to transform your mindset. I want you to do that. I want you to make sure you are pressing in and getting that done. We're going to do it together so I can give you some additional insights when we're together on the Breakthrough Morning Show, but I want you to take that action and move forward and mentally condition, just like you physically condition on a daily basis, 
you should be. If you're not, you should be. But I want you to also spiritually and mentally condition every single solitary day. Get yourself prepared for success. Amen. Today's lesson is called Ignite Your Revolution. Ignite Your Revolution. We're on page 54, day 6, p.m. And our quote today is from Abraham Lincoln. And it says, always bear in mind that your own resolution to succeed is more important than any other one thing. Let me read that to you again. Always bear in mind that your own resolution to succeed is more important than any other one thing. Here is my commentary. More important than education, credentials, financial resources, connections, or even opportunity is your personal resolve and unwavering commitment to succeed. When you decide once and for all that you will fulfill the dream in your heart, that you will move forward no matter what comes, and that there is no turning back, you will ignite a great fire of passion within you. When there is no other option but to succeed, your relentless determination will incinerate all obstacles that rise in your path. You will find the answers to unanswerable questions. You will find abundant resources in the face of insufficiency. You will connect with the right coaches, mentors, and advisors to help you when you thought you were standing alone, and you will develop skills and abilities you had no idea that you had lying dormant inside. Your own immovable, unshakable, steadfast determination will cause your goals to manifest. Decide today, once and for all, you are going forward and you will not turn back. Your resolution will ignite your revolution. Amen and amen. Our power principle today is from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58, from the New King James Version of the Bible. It says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. And amen, your labor is never, it's never, ever in vain in the Lord, never. He always adds value to everything that you do. When your mindset is purpose-driven, then your actions are purposeful, your actions are mission-minded, and the Lord will always use everything that you set your hand to do. Your work is never in vain. I want you to be steadfast, immovable. I don't want you to have a concept of giving up or backing down on your goals and results. We have a few weeks left in this year, and I want you to really practice this mindset of finishing strong. Be a finisher. Be a closer. Be a person who brings things to completion. Yesterday, I took a time out myself, and I spent a few hours, probably about half a day, putting together a list of all the actions I, I want to finish and things I need to conclude before the year is out. So the same things I teach you to do, I do myself. And so I took that time out and I put that list together, and uh, there were quite a few things on the list, just odds and ends, just little stuff I needed to finish and projects I just need to wrap up. The big stuff is done, but there's some other major uh, just little uh, details that are connected to major projects that I want to make sure everything is lined up and buttoned up before the end of the year. Why? Why do I want to do that? Because however you exit is how you're going to enter. How you exit is how you enter. Like however you come out is how you're going to go in. And so the Lord always tells us this concept. We see this throughout the Word of God. We see it. Uh, If you look in Deuteronomy chapter 28, how it talks about that – you're blessed when you come out, and you bless, you're blessed when you go in. You are, you are blessed in those two states. And so we have to make sure that we, our, we are uh, pursuing that. We're being focused to do what the Lord has commanded us to do, which is to, to come out with this attitude of strength and power so we go in with the same thing. I don't want you to limp your way out of 2012. Don't do that. Take a few minutes. Go ahead and do your personal inventory. Just take some time to do it. It took me a few hours yesterday, probably about between three and four hours, to just sit down and just look at everything, assess my year, see what I need to do, and to get myself positioned. Now, that slight edge that I will create right there, those actions, those few little things, could I let them go till next year? Sure. Sure, I could. But that's not going to position me for the greatest level of success. See, the, the defining margin of victory 
for winners, for people that are moving from winner to champion, that defining margin of victory is very small. Like the difference between where you are and where your competition is, the difference between where you are right now and your personal best, it's not a great big margin. It's a small margin. And so we have to pay attention to those little things. We have to pay attention to those small things, those little small details. Sure, you could just let it go like, oh, you know, I'm tired. It's been a, it's been a tough year. I've been pushing hard. I'm going to relax. I'm just going to enjoy myself, and I'll pick it up. I'll do it the first of the year. I'll do it the first of the year. I'll put it off. Don't do that. Procrastination is a barrier symptom. What I want you to do is value every day. Count every day precious that the Lord has given you. Count every day. Today is a precious day that the Lord has given you. He's blessed you with 24 hours. You've got to be a great steward over that. God promises he'll bless the work of your hands. Give him something great to bless every single solitary day. So even as you're shopping, even as you're preparing for the holidays, even as you're doing all the things that you need to do, enjoying time with family and friends, doing your parties, all that stuff, do it. Enjoy yourself. Absolutely. But take a few hours. It doesn't take forever. Just take a few hours. Maybe for you it's just an hour. I have a lot of moving parts in my business, but for you it may just be an hour, maybe two hours, and you're done. But sit down, take that inventory, get that list, get those closing action items, and in your mindset, this is practice. I want you to practice this skill, this skill to close strong. I want you to practice it because if you practice, whatever you practice, that's what you're going to become. So I want you to practice well. I want you to do this and get yourself in that mindset that you don't leave things just kind of loose and unanswered. You don't put it off. You don't procrastinate. That's what average people do. That's not what people of breakthrough do. So I want you to to do that little fine difference. Do it with your team. If you're a team leader, do it with your team. Sit down with your team at work. Sit down with your team in your business. Sit down with your coworkers. Sit down with them and just do it. Just say, hey, let's get everything that we need to wrap up, and it may be just one more week. I want you to give me one more week of good, strong effort and Give yourself some great things to feel really, really good about. It may be some simple things like straightening out some stuff in your home, just getting some things organized in your home. Could be that. Could be closing out a couple projects at work. Could be finalizing a few details with your business, just a few things that you want to knock out. It could be just a few actions. You may have five things on your list. I have a big list. You may have just a few things on your list. But I want you to put that list together, and I want you to close strong because these mindset differences, they're huge. When we practice the skill of finishing, be a finisher, be a person that's dependable, people can count on you to finish strong, then you are going to start fast. You're going to blast out the gates at the beginning of the year. You can go into the holiday season without anything lingering in the back of your mind like, oh, I didn't, I didn't do that. I didn't finish that. You won't have that. You'll have it all wrapped up. You'll have it all done, and you can go into the holiday season and completely enjoy yourself, uh, enjoy the holiday, and um, you will feel rested and restored, and all will go well for you. And then on January 1st, you will already have your goal set. You'll already have your action plan good to go. You'll be set to go, and you'll move forward in a real, real powerful, powerful way. And so I want you to do this practice. I want you to do this practice, and I want you to get ready to finish strong. I want you to get ready to finish well, and I want you to get ready for a great, great new year. Will you do that? I know you will. I'm going to encourage you every day. I'm going to keep reminding you of this because this is how I want you to finish out the year. This is how I want you to do it, and I know you will because you're part of the awesome breakthrough family, and you're here so that I can coach you and encourage you and move you forward. See, the difference between successful people and unsuccessful people, they're not huge differences. They're not great big huge things. We have the same amount of time. We have, we're all gifted with, with skills and abilities. We all have that 24 hours in a day. We all have the opportunity to respond to circumstances. But successful people just do it in a little bit different way. They do it a little bit differently than people who achieve average results. And I, don't, I know you don't want average. I know you don't want that. You don't want status quo in your life. But you have to be willing to do the things that are uncomfortable that most people won't do. See, most people will mail in the balance of the year. They'll just, once, it, once we hit Thanksgiving, 
they don't come out of that. They don't come out of that. They they eat and they have a great festive time and then that's it. That's it for the rest of the year. Well, if you want to be successful and finish strong, you've got to come at it with a little different attitude. So your friends may not do this. Your friends may not be thinking about how to conclude their projects and how to wrap things up tight with their business and get their goal plan done. They're not even thinking about that. Your friends may not be. They may not be doing their targeted action plan. They may not have any strategy for 2013. I've been talking to you about strategy for 2013 for three months. We started doing this October 1st. We were talking about how to accelerate in 2012 and dominate in 2013. We have been talking about how to conclude in Q4 and use Q4 as a ramping tool to get ready for the new year. We've been talking about that for a couple of months. And those of you in the Breakthrough Inner Circle, you know that, and you've been with me, and you've done that practice with me, which is outstanding. That's excellent. Well, now we're in those final days. We're in the final days, and we're going to do exactly that. We have to accelerate over this last little final period of time so that you are positioned to dominate. You hit the ground running January 1st with momentum, with power, with passion, and ready to go. Everything uh, already prepared and ready. You're not sitting down on December 31st thinking about what you want to do for a New Year's resolution on January 1st. You don't want to do that. That is what that that produces average results. People with a average mi- mindset. They're not average people. They have an average mindset. They haven't developed themselves. And when they have that. What they're going to do is they're going to, you know, think about a couple resolutions, and it's going to be the same stuff that they thought about doing in 2012 and the same stuff they thought about doing in 2011 and the same stuff they thought about doing in 2010 because their life's not going anywhere, because they're not doing the steps that it takes to move forward. It's challenging work, and this is the stuff that you have to do. And so I'm going to give you the the details. If you haven't gone through the teleseminar that I did on how to accelerate and dominate, 10 power actions you must do now, I want you to listen to that. I want you to go back through that and make sure you've done those actions. I want to make sure you're prepared for great great and phenomenal, phenomenal new year. Let's make 2013 your best year ever, best year ever. That's what I want to make sure you do. You have the mindset to do it. You have the drive and determination to do it, and we're going to make that happen. Well, we have been talking about, we've been talking about a very specific uh, outline of techniques that you can apply to achieve lasting breakthrough in your life. I've been sharing with you five big secrets of lasting breakthrough. We're going to finish that today. We are going to finish because you guys are so fantastic. We have been moving through this and covering it, and we're going to wrap up today. And I appreciate your comments and your, your responses that you're applying these techniques in your life. So the five big secrets of lasting breakthrough, number one was to have the courage to confront, to stop coping, and to make the decision to play at a bigger level. So we talked about that. We talked about number two, get to the root. Don't take aspirin for a broken leg. You've got to get to the symptoms, get past the symptoms, and get to the root causes. We have to get to the root, not do symptom management. So many people do symptom management on an ongoing basis. They're working on things like fear and procrastination and stuff like that, which are not, that's not the problem. It's the symptom that you have a problem. And so if you're not great at time management and things like that, those are all symptomatic. They're not the root cause of the problem. You've got to figure out why you're like that. If you're tentative, hesitant, um, not decisive, if you have self-doubt, low uh, self-esteem or your self-concept isn't there, your self-confidence isn't there, we've got to get to the root of why that is and fix that. And so we have to do some deep work to get to the root of the challenge and address it. But that's what breakthrough is all about because we don't want what looks like a parent improvement. We want real and lasting change. Okay, the third one is to have – is to uh, make sure that you are conditioning to conquer. That's number three, is to condition to conquer. And that's what we do every morning, every night. I'm going to talk to you about changing the way you think and doing that tough work every single solitary day, just making sure that you're sitting down, reading something motivational, reading something inspirational, getting the Word of God inside of you because you've got to combat negativity. Negativity comes at you all day, every day. It comes at you 
And it's not even – it's not even purposeful. They're not meaning to do it. But it will come to you through your family. It will come to you through your friends. It will come to you through the circle of people that are around you every day. It will come to you through your coworkers. And you are confronted every day with a bunch of choices, whether you're going to yield to that negativity or whether you are going to use your power mindset and believe differently. Are you going to believe differently about what you can accomplish in these economic times? Are you going to believe differently about what you can finish in this year? A lot of people feel like, ah, oh, it's just been a rough year. I'm just going to wait till the new year. Like, never mind. No, you can still create powerful changes in your life in the next couple of weeks. You can still do that. Absolutely. So you've got to resist that negativity. You've got to resist that sensation of the status quo. You may be building a business, and everybody around you may be thinking, I don't know if that's a smart thing to do. I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of volatility. The economy is still not uh, progressing at the rate that we wanted to. We're turning. We're moving in the right direction, but we're not quite fully there yet. So a lot of people may not be with you. They may not encourage you. They, when you share your ideas, they may just look at you and just, kind of be surprised that you're moving in that direction. And you've got to be prepared for that. You have to be fine with that. You have to say, this is my opportunity to let my light shine. I'm not going to be affected by what somebody else's opinion is. I know what God's calling is on my life. I'm not affected by that. It's my job to influence you. It's not your job to influence me. I'm not going to let that negativity bring me down. I'm going to influence you in a positive way and let you know why I'm doing what I'm doing. So you've got to be prepared for that. Whether You, you might be getting together with, with family and friends and people over the holiday season that you love and care about, but their mindset is not the power mindset for success. They're not trying to move to the champion level, and they're going to just spew out negativity on you because that's just, that's just what's in their heart. See, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, and they're going to share with you their negative beliefs and their limiting beliefs, and all that stuff's going to come out. You're going to be confronted with that all through the holiday season. Are you ready? That's why we have to condition to conquer so that you can keep yourself motivated and aspire to moving forward and you can be a positive influence on the other people. You don't, you don't let them influence you in a negative way. You be the person of influence and you say, man, you know what? I'm fired up. I'm closing this year strong. Next year is going to be my best year ever. This is what I'm doing. And you share with them. You share with them. Be a positive influence. But you've got a condition for that. Otherwise, that way of negativity is going to wash over you and it's going to negate all the great work that we do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday when we coach together on the Breakthrough Morning Show, okay? So I want you to condition to conquer every day. You've got to rewrite your mental soundtrack for success and get that soundtrack of heaven playing in your mindset all the time, the way that God speaks about you, and knowing that you're more than a conqueror. Through Christ who loves you, that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you, that you are an overcomer born of God, that you're an heir of God, a co-heir with Christ. Whatever God has given you to do, you can accomplish it. Know that he has a plan for you, plans that are good and not of evil, plans to give you hope and a future. They're not dependent on the economy. They're God's plans. He's on God's economy. You, we have to come up to that level. We don't sink down to the level of what's around us, but we have to condition a conquer to do that. Number four, we have to declare war on relapse. Relapse prevention is so critical, and most uh, uh, methods, most coaching methods or most self-improvement methods or personal development methods don't deal with relapse. You've got to have a plan to address relapse because the underlying undetected mental barriers, those unconscious mental barriers will rise up and pull you back to old behavior, as well as 90% of your behavior is governed by habits. They're already grooved into your brain. It's actually a great tool the Lord has given us, the ability to create a habit so you don't have to think through all the details of how to drive and how to take a shower and how to brush your teeth every day. You don't have to relearn that every day. It's a habit. You learn it. You do the same uh, choices every day. It gets ingrained, and you can do it automatically, autonomic. You don't have to think about it. Well, the challenge is if you get negative stuff in there and you have self-sabotaging habits or bad habits, then that becomes automatic too. And we have to rewrite that. And it takes a while to rewrite that. So as you're establishing new habits, the old ones are pushing with tremendous force to pull you back into the old habit because it's grooved in there. So you've got to rewrite, 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 embed and ingrain the new habit and rewrite that. And you're going to be in a battle. So 
don't get discouraged if after 21 days it's not established. 90 days, you still got work to do. We have to plan for relapse and prevent that. And so the work that we do to get to the root, deal with barriers, that's all part of relapse prevention. You have to know you're going to have a battle over the new habit. And that's not that you're not doing well. It's just that that is your nemesis. You have to beat relapse. You have to declare war on relapse to change any habit, any behavior, any choice in your life. We all face it. I've got to do it too. I've got to do it too. We all do. Okay? So that's number four. And number five, five big secrets, five big secrets of lasting breakthrough in your life. Number five is that breakthrough is a lifestyle. Breakthrough is a lifestyle. I want you to understand that the pattern of breaking and building, breaking and building, Breaking and building, implementing and adjusting is continual. It doesn't stop. So a lot of times people say, help me get my breakthrough like it's singular. And we do have major breakthroughs that will happen. You may have a big issue that you overcome and you beat it and we do the hard work. But breakthrough is really a lifestyle. We have to continue in that. It's not something we do one time and we're done. We continually Break down old habits, break down old thought patterns, break down old mindsets, break down strongholds. We continue to tear those things down and rebuild in its place over and over and over again. Breakthrough is a lifestyle. And so we are holding territory, taking the territory Jesus has given, and then we we establish camp there. We hold that position, and then we advance to the next place. We advance. As long as there is breath in your body, there is more advancement for you to do. There's a next summit. There's a higher place. We can never exhaust the higher place in God. We can never exhaust that. There's always a next step. As long as you are here and there is purpose in you and there's breath in you, then we've got to keep push it forward, and we go to summit, to summit, to summit. Now, here's the good news. It gets easier. It gets easier. The first one's the tough one. But once you get a momentum of breakthrough, breakthrough becomes a lifestyle. And when you see the barrier, you are ready to just break it, build, move. Break it, build, move. It becomes a system, a systematic way of living, and you clear everything that's in your path so that you live barrier-free. See, trail trailblazers, people that are trailblazers, people that are forerunners, people that go first, people that establish and take new territory, the path isn't clear. There's stuff in there. There's boulders and all kind of stuff and brush, and you've got to be prepared to cut that stuff down. If you want a smooth, easy path, then you're not going to be a, a person of breakthrough. You're not going to be a person that's a world changer and a leader. That's not, that's not the position. You're going to be a follower because somebody has to go in front of you and clear stuff. Well, if you're going to be all that God has called you to be, you've got to step up to the role of world changer, trailblazer. You've got to be that person that breaks the barriers in your family. Be the first one to do it. Be the first one to change the way you're thinking. Be the first one to establish a new financial future. Be the person that's first. So to do that, breaking and building becomes a lifestyle. There's a time to tear down. There's a time to build. And that's what breakthrough is all about. It's a cycle. But when you do it continually, you get momentum and you get great at it. Okay, so I want you to remember that fifth step, that breakthrough is a lifestyle. That's why you're with me every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on the Breakthrough Morning Show that we're together. We're together and we are mentally conditioning and we're working and we're getting these concepts of breakthrough in our mindset so that you can take new territory over and over and over again and rise to the level that God has for you. You can live the extraordinary that the Lord intends for you. I want you to know that you can do it. These five big secrets of Barry Breakthrough, you can do them all. You can do them all, and Breakthrough will become a lifestyle for you. You will break and build, and there's no obstacle, no stronghold, no uh, barrier that can get in your pathway, no mountain that's too big for you to be able to take down because the power of God resident on the inside of you will take it down. We just have to know how to do it, and that's what Breakthrough is all about. It's releasing the power of God on the inside of you so you can clear the obstacles in your way and live the full life that he has. I always want to tell you you're gifted for greatness. I always want to remind you that you're encoded with the exceptional. You're equipped to be extraordinary. This is the Power Coach, Madeline Alexander. You're with me on the Breakthrough Morning Show on Power Coach Radio where we break through barriers and achieve power results fast. Whatever's burning on the inside of your heart to accomplish it's yours to achieve, you can do it. Breakthrough will be your lifestyle to take you there. 
God bless you. Have a fantastic, fantastic weekend. Get ready for the holidays. It is beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I'm excited. I want you to have a great holiday season. I want you to give me one more solid week of good, strong effort, pushing forward, finishing out your goals and plans before you finish out for this year, okay? Will you do that? I know you will. Have an awesome, awesome weekend. Go to MadelineAlexander.com, and please do it today. Don't procrastinate. Get your books. I want to make sure you're doing the work with me every day, and I want to make sure that you are prepared to go to the championship level. Get Power Mindset 2. Choose to be a champion. Make an investment in yourself today. Okay, God bless you. Have a fantastic, awesome, powerful, amazing, passionate weekend, and I'll see you back here Monday morning at 730. Live the extraordinary. <laughs>